Hey gang, it's Will from Tested. And it's Norm from Tested. Norman Chan, do you know what this is? Uh, it looks like a MacBook to me. It is a brand new early 2015 13-inch MacBook Pro Retina. And the big differences uh, between this and the last MacBook Pro, which is why we're keeping this short, is that there's a Broadwell U processor, a new Intel processor. It's mm -hmm. faster. We've tested it on Windows PCs. It's a great processor. But there's also a new trackpad. This is the Force Touch trackpad. It's what'll show up in the new 12-inch MacBook. Not the MacBook Pro, not the MacBook Air, the, the tweener thing. Um, but it's notable because it doesn't actually click. Norm's the trackpad moves, it clicks right. when you click it. So when you look close to any standard Apple trackpad, which we've maintained is the best laptop trackpad far and away. Far and away. Um, when you click an old one, it actually recesses. And it recesses further on the bottom than on the top. Like if you try to push on the top, it actually doesn't click so in. The, it does in the middle. And in the bottom, you can actually noticeably see it recesses in. I use this new trackpad, I've been using it for about a week now. I can't tell the difference when I'm using it between the old trackpad and the new trackpad, which is kind of amazing because we just spent five minutes looking at this to see if it actually moves when you click. And it doesn't. The big fear was people said no clicky trackpads. It's a, you know, it's a force feedback trackpad, haptic trackpad. We were afraid. We thought that we like the click. We like it when, when it pushes down, it feels like you're depressing the, something. The click is part of what makes the Apple trackpad good. It means that when you touch with one finger, you feel the click, you know you've made a selection. When you hold with two fingers, you know you've made a right click and made a selection. It's definitive. The new one uses a couple of, uh, uh, four, I think, actually, electromagnets to provide haptic feedback to the pad so that when you press, it has the exact same haptic feel of the click without the trackpad moving at all. It's absolutely bananas. It also, yeah, it's very convincing. I can't say this enough. We just spent five minutes pressing the trackpad and looking at it really closely to see if it was moving, and it is absolutely not moving. Yeah. Um, the other thing it does is it has a more sensitive pressure, so it's pressure sensitive in addition to being uh, just, just touch sensitive. Uh, and you can see, I'm in the wrong window here, uh, but you can see that in effect by you click and then press harder uh, to perform certain actions. And you can figure those actions in, uh, in the system preferences. Um, I have it set right now to do an expose for only the application that I click on. Or if you're in Safari, then you can do the click to see, to do a search. Oop, here we go. Yeah, and it'll search the dictionary on your Mac. Uh, the force press is less interesting to me on the Mac. I find it to be a little bit uh, fiddly, and I just use like a three finger swipe to do the same thing. Uh, but, the, but the haptic action of the trackpad, really, really impressive, and I, it makes me more optimistic about that 12 inch Mac. And also, it's the same technology Apple is putting into the watch, and presumably, this kind of is looking to the future. I can imagine phones, uh, tablets, the iPad and the iPhone having this type of force feedback technology, which I think if you compare it to other phones that you do a type of haptic feedback, they vibrate the phone ever so <laughs> slightly with the, the virtual keyboard, this feels way more like an actual click. I would probably leave this on if my keyboard clicked with this. Exactly. Um, I'm not, it's unclear to me whether it's the same technology in the Apple Watch or if it's just the same name with a similar technology. So we'll find out more about that later, I'm sure. But for the future of trackpads, don't worry. It's still, even though there's not technically a click, it feels very much it, like one. My finger thinks there's a click, even though my eyes and my brain know there isn't. We'll, well see you guys next time. More stuff next time. Bye. Bye.